people good morning and welcome to the europa and the conference league match day we have a very very exciting matches from the europa league and the conference league for you guys and we've curated five matches that should give a total of 2.5 odds for your benefit and as always feel free to do your own research and you know edit the ticket as you like but we've really taken time to analyze these matches and we'll take you guys through our rationale the reasons we've provided the matches we've provided and the data behind each of these games and of course the very first game we have for you is uh, from the europa league as roma versus sheriff so as roma needs a point or if possible to win this game to qualify fully into the next stage and finish first in their group so you look at as roma at home four wins and one draw they've played very impressively at home Lukaku has been very brilliant for this team ever since he signed for them. Now you look at Sheriff Tiraspol, um, three losses and just two wins in five games. Not good enough. Okay. So the prediction here is very simple. This is a game that AS Roma will win in 90 minutes because when you compare the strength of the two teams, AS Roma is several miles ahead of Sheriff Tiraspol. So this is a game that AS Roma is guaranteed to win. The game should end by maybe three goals to one or even four goals to one. Ace Roma has the attacking players, the quality and the extra motivation to go all out on this game. So the odd for Ace Roma to win in 90 minutes is 1.18. The next fixture we have for you guys is from the Europa League. It's Brighton myself. So this is a very important game for Brighton. Brighton needs to pick a victory, a win against Marcel to qualify first. And given that this match is happening in their home ground, I think it's a game they will fancy. Marcel is currently position two, second on the table. So Brighton, sorry, Marcel is top of the uh, top of the table. And Brighton would know that if they beat Marcel, they'll finish first. And I think it's a game Brighton will definitely want to win. They have the players. They have the attacking players, they have most of the injured players back playing fantastically well. So it's a game we expect Brighton to win or draw in 90 minutes. So the offer for Brighton to win or draw this fixture in 90 minutes is 1.20. We also look at Marcel. Marcel too has been brilliant, but away from home, they've lost twice and won just twice. And of course, the next fixture we have here is for the Bachelor. This is Tranva. Fenerbahce has been quite brilliant at home. Four wins and just a single loss at home. The away team, on the other hand, has equally been very good, but then in the Europa Conference League, they haven't been so brilliant. So, uh, but domestically, they've done well. But against the Fenerbahce team that is extremely good, playing some of the best football that you can imagine, only one thing is sure. The Fenerbahce will win this game outrightly in 90 minutes. And the, the, the data, but Fenerbahce's data, right, how well they've done in the last five matches definitely suggests that this is a game Fenerbahce will win in 90 minutes. So, again, the prediction is simple. A straight win for Fenerbahce in 90 minutes. And one interesting thing is Fenerbahce needs a victory in this game to finish first. So, they're in a three... Um, race right they have there are three teams uh, in their group aiming to finish first so if they beat this team Fenerbahce can be guaranteed of uh, finishing first in the group and I think it's something that this team will definitely fancy so that's the prediction for Fenerbahce and of course the odd is 1.10 for this to happen the next one is a rather interesting game from the Europa League, whoever wins this game will gain uh, promotion to the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League. So these are two teams that are out of the Europa League uh, knockout stages uh, contention, right? They are totally out, regardless of what they play to them. They will make it to the next stage of the Europa Conference League. So, but if either of them wins, they are guaranteed um, promotion to the Naga stages of the conference league. So you look at Ajax at home. Five matches, 
four wins. They've picked up form. You know, since their last loss to Brighton, they've been very, very brilliant, playing very well and winning important matches. And then you have a EK Athens that has lost twice, won twice, and drawn once. And their head-to-head shows that it's a fixture Ajax has dominated. And given that Ajax will definitely fancy playing the Europa Conference League for an opportunity to potentially win it, we can expect Ajax to win or draw this fixture at out of 1.30. And of course, we have the final game for you guys here. It's POK versus HJK. So POK is brilliant at home. Uh, four wins and a single draw. Now you look at HJK away from home. Two losses, two wins, and just one draw. So it's a game POK is expected to win, no doubt, 100%. We expect them to win this fixture in 90 minutes. And But for purposes of our prediction, we won't outrightly go for a POK straight win. We are doing a draw no bet for POK in 90 minutes. So a draw no bet for POK is priced at 1.10. And of course, you have the sporty based booking codes here, the one expert booking codes for your benefits. And as always, please take responsibly. Feel free to do your own research. And of course, we wish you guys nothing but the very best for this round of matches.